Good morning, North Huntington. Welcome to April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2020. It is our 12th day of virtual learning, and today is a B day. I am here in the science classroom of Mr. Audi. Mr. Audi is going to give our pep talk today. We have a very empty science classroom. Mr. Audi does some of our human anatomy uh, and biology classes, so I'm here in his classroom today uh, as we deliver our North Connection. So. Uh, a few announcements to get us started. Number one, uh, teachers, if you look at your emails, you'll see there are some new guidelines for Zoom meetings. So make sure you're following those guidelines when you are administering a Zoom meeting with your students. And students, what that is basically going to mean for you is that you are going to be required to be signing in to all Zoom meetings with your North Hunterdon student email address. So you can't log in as something else. You'll be required to log in with your North Hunterdon student email address to all Zoom meetings. So teachers, check your emails and make sure you're following those Zoom meeting guidelines. And students, when you're connecting to Zoom, make sure you are connecting with your North Hunterdon student issued email. Um, also appearing on your screen about now are some face masks that uh, have been sewn together by our sewing club, specifically taking the lead in that has been Emily Smith and Alyssa Swoop uh, from our sewing club, which is led by teacher Miss Sarah Babb. And those masks are going to be donated to healthcare workers. If you would like to get involved in making some masks uh, for our uh, for healthcare workers and uh, the plans are being uh, sent out and organized by Miss Sarah Babb, our family consumer science teacher here. Uh, her email is at the bottom of this screen right now. And again, it is her name is Sarah Babb and her email address is sbab at nhvweb.net. Uh, you can email her. She will send you the directions and tell you how to get involved. And again, that doesn't necessarily have to be students. Parents, if you have a sewing machine and want to spend your afternoon sewing some masks, uh, that's actually what my mother is doing today, feel free to go ahead and email Miss Sarah Babb. Also, you'll see some information in your email today about an initiative called Light Up the Blue, which is for autism awareness. So you'll see a link in your emails today for Light Up the Blue. And what Light Up the Blue is, it supports autism awareness for raising an understanding and acceptance of people with autism. So tomorrow, April 2nd, is Light Up the Blue Day, and they are asking everyone to wear blue. So I'll be ditching my North Hundred and Polos. Uh, for those, I've heard a few people have noticed that I have quite the North Hundred and Polo collection, which is true. I have quite a few North Hundred and Polo shirts that I've collected over the years. But I'll be ditching that tomorrow and wearing blue in honor of Light Up the Blue Autism Awareness. And I encourage everybody out there to do that. Uh, we're actually going to uh, be collecting photos. Uh, Miss Michelle Byron is going to be collecting photos, and her email should be on the screen right now as well, mbyron at nhvweb.net. Um, and if you are a staff member, or if you are a student, or if you are a family and you want to take a photo of yourselves wearing blue, again, it is totally optional to do that. You can email that photo to Miss Michelle Byron at the email on your screen. And that is tomorrow. Again, reminder, that's tomorrow. So just so you can prepare tonight when you're setting out your clothes for tomorrow, pick out something blue. So I'll remind everybody tomorrow again about that, but that's tomorrow, not today. Tomorrow is light up the blue. And I'll talk about that again tomorrow as well. So with that today, I am in, as I mentioned, Mr. Audi's uh, science room. He was nominated by his students to give us a pep talk. Mr. Audi is a science teacher. He's a football coach. He's a track coach. He's the winner of our staff weight loss, weight loss competition, which actually just ended yesterday. He has lost 18% of his body weight, which is almost 30 pounds uh, for him uh, since the start of 2020. So he's doing an awesome job and he's going to give us a pep talk today. Just an all around good guy. So with that, since it is April Fool's Day, I'm going to leave you with a little positive encouragement today. I hope everyone gets back to work today. Oops, sorry, Mr. Audi. And gets a leg up on your education. Have a great day, everybody. Hello, North Hunterdon. It's me and Jackson. We are isolating ourselves in a nice wide open park here at White Oak Park by my house. And um, just wanted to give you a little pep talk telling you guys that after your schoolwork is done and after all your homework is done, you guys are gonna have a lot of time on your own. And what you do at that time could either make or break your day. I've been spending a lot of time with this little dude right here. And I just want to say, it's been one of the best things I can do. Get your work done. Make sure that it's A material. Then spend your time wisely. Get better at something. Spend time with people you normally wouldn't. Try and draw a positive outside of this coronavirus. 
make it be something good. Good luck, guys.